Hey guys, Lee, Jen, Theme Park Ohana. We're here at Disney's Contemporary Resort for breakfast at The Wave. Yes, we have oh. never eaten at The Wave before, so yep. I'm super excited. First time. We're doing a lot of first time stuff lately. Yes, and there's actually something on the menu that like really excites me and something new. So hopefully I don't regret it like I normally yeah, do. Yeah, she's usually full of regret when she tries something new. Yeah. But we're also going to tour the resort a little bit. And I know what Jen wants to do. Shopping. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's follow the adventure. Harry. Traffic was not great this morning, but um, we are here. This is our first time at the Wave. All right, they made me feel famous. Like when I came up, they're like, "Oh, are you the infamous husband we're waiting for?" And they're like, Going down. <laughs> that's and funny. I got to the, to the front desk, they're like, "Are you are you are you waiting to join your wave?" Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is our first time eating here, and um, I do know that it's not the normal menu. So they only have three appetizers, a fruit plate, the continental breakfast, or oatmeal. They have a couple different entrees. Um, so we're getting, we're splitting the signature sweet potato pancakes because they sound amazing. Although I'm surprised Lee didn't get the omelet your way. I hate that it slides. I'm not really that hungry, so. Yeah, he's also not a big breakfast eater, so I think we'll be fine yeah, splitting so that. Food when we go out to breakfast. Yeah. And um, then they also have a special Floridian Eggs Benedict, which comes with a crab cake. And then the avocado toast, a lot of them have that. And they just had the basic breakfast sides. Nope, that's not, is that a side? Nope, I missed the sides. It's like I've never done this before. And they just have the basic sides. And then for the kids, they just have three different. And then when you order that, you get two sides. They actually have more sides here than they did at Beach and Yacht Club. <clears throat> they have some morning drinks. They have mimosas, a Bay Lake Bloody Mary, or a bottomless actually, mimosa. Actually, they have a completely open bar. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can get whatever they offer. It is real early for an open bar. <laughs> but okay. So it's kind of cool how everything here is waved. Like, even coming in, they have these waves you walk through. The walls are wavy. Fabric on the cushions look like they have waves. The ceiling looks like a giant wave. Even the chairs are wavy. That is some wild, wild stuff. So I guess while I was gone, they delivered the butter and syrup. Yes. What kind of butter is that? It's maple honey butter. I that think should they be said. interesting. Although it looks, I can't tell. Oh. If there's nuts. I was in gonna it. say, it looks like they're like nuts. You might have to ask for regular butter. Yeah. Jen pointed out stuff I missed. The floor is wavy, and the curtains over here, much like the chairs, have waves going through the fabric. I guess uh, this one's pretty well themed to the name. Don't you think? This she's ignoring me. Sorry, I'm doing something. This is actually a lot of food. It smells so. Is there four good. pancakes on there? Yeah, and four strips of bacon. I wonder if they wow, gave us extra because we said we're splitting it. I doubt it. That's just a lot of food for fourteen dollars. Dude, it smells like Christmas. Literally, this plate smells like Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, dear. <laughs> So the butter did have nuts in it. Jen had to ask for some regular butter. Thank you so much. Because we all know she didn't have nuts. Yeah. So here it is split up. I'll tell you, this is this is a lot, lot of food. food. This is enough for me. I don't know about you, but more than enough for me. And you're right. It smells like Christmas. Yeah, it does. So can't get her off the phone for a second here this morning. Listen, I'm doing something. How is it? You had a bite. I don't know yet. Still undecided. Yeah. So final thoughts. It was very good. I liked it. Did not taste like sweet potato. It just tastes like French toast to me. I don't know what it, it tasted like. Almost like um, I don't 
know. It wasn't sweet potato. Like it a was mushy and like tasted, a, reminded me of French toast. It tasted like a pumpkin pie to me. Like more pumpkin-y than... Yeah, I got a cinnamon stuck in my mouth. But it was good. I would definitely like get that again. Yeah, and the bacon was cooked to the perfection. Bacon was perfect. And Jen was happy because I only ate like half of mine, so yeah. she got more. <laughs> so now we get to walk around the resort and do some exploring. Shopping and eating. Oh no. So just like we've been seeing a lot in all the resorts we've been visiting, it's a message to tell you to try to do your virtual check-in. But they do have people standing, waiting, ready to help you check in if you needed to actual get with a cast member to check in. All right, so we decided to start our tour outside before it gets too hot. Yes. So let's see what's going on out here, what's available. I'm kind of surprised this is open and available is the splash pad. Yeah, so I don't know if it's just this resort or not. We've been visiting so many resorts and seeing so many different things. But the splash pad is open and ready to be played in here at Contemporary. The pool is also open and available as they got lifeguards on duty. I don't see anybody really swimming yet. I guess it's still pretty early in the day. But it's open. You want to get it some swimming in early. So even though it's not open right now, the sandbar is has hours 11 to 7. So it's a little too early to be open, but it is open for quick service and drinks here outside the pool. Jen, just look at all of these recreation activities. Man, yeah, so many. So many options. <laughs> Jen, that walkway between Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary is probably the windiest place on Disney. Oh wait, maybe under Epcot, uh, Spaceship Earth. No, yeah, this is second to under. Yeah, under Spaceship Earth is number one windiest spot. This place, yeah, number, two. number two. When you walk through there and there's a little bit of wind in that day, you're like, biting your way through a wind tunnel. Yeah. So even though the boat nook where you rent boats doesn't look like it says it's closed or it's not open for business because it's hours start at 11, there are no vehicles out here to rent. I guess there are a couple boats, so maybe they are open. Let's see what Jen thinks. And there is one guy out there fishing. I don't know if that's from a different resort or what, but somebody's out there. There's some boat activity out here today. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is for cast member use. They don't have any of the small boats though. Just the pontoon type boots, and you'll see there's one out out there on Bay Lake chugging along on a little excursion. God, it is really beautiful out here and peaceful. And the music from the pool is jamming. This is really cool. I never saw the sign here before. It tells you what fish are actually in Bay Lake like largemouth bass, bluegill, catfish, and sunfish. And I have seen people catch big fish out here. But don't think you could just bring your fishing pole with you because fishing is not permitted from the dock. Only on a guide, guided excursion. It's good to know that also there are transportation boats out and about going around the resorts here at Bay Lake. And this other pool that's a little further out over by Bay Lake, which what great views, is open and it opens at 7 a.m. But do note, there are no lifeguards at this pool. So this is more like an adult pool, I would, I would say, because there's no lifeguards. And the, the main pool is more for the kids. To me, it just looks like a giant hot tub. But the view, you can swim right on Bay Lake, basically. The beach is open and the chairs are socially distanced. I'm kind of, I'm surprised I don't, they don't see the sign I saw like at um, Beach and Yacht Club where they say, please don't move the chairs. But something I never noticed before, in the middle of the volleyball net is actual a monorail. That is awesome. Jen, monorail. Also out here right by Bay Lake, they have the, the games of pool, the foosball table. And don't you love this artwork on the cover for it? Disney's Contemporary Resort. They also have a ping pong table back here, if you fancy that. Now, I gotta find Jen. We lost each other. If they had hammocks here, I would know where to look, but I don't think they have hammocks. But I will find her. I found you! <laughs> Literally have no moves since the moment you walked away. Oh, I went over by the beach to see if there was hammocks. I, I, I went in a little bit of a panic, but you're I've safe. Been relaxing in the shade. It's nice and cool. Well, I figured, I had, I figured three things. One, hammock, but there are no hammocks. Two, shade. Or three, you were back inside already in the air conditioning. I was getting ready. Well, that's I where we're... I'll text you and be like, I'll be in the store. Yeah, we're headed inside now because I think <laughs> I covered everything that's going on out here. What? So this is probably the only food I've ever eaten where I'm okay with the burps and the mask. Because I'm burping up cinnamon. <laughs> that's disgusting. 
disgusting. It smells good though. <laughs> Jen, how cool are the windows here at the gift oh shop? Gosh. Halloween is coming. Oh, the colors are so amazing. It's just like popping. Oh yeah. The camera's not doing it justice. This is really beautiful. So Lee showed this pin kind of in the vlog the other day, but didn't actually talk about it. This matches that new sock set. I love this pin so much. And it says, for the evil, vile, wicked, devious, and diabolical. I love it. And this one is yellow, so $12.99. Much else I showed you in Hollywood Studios, 2020 merch here in the gift shop at the Contemporary. It's all in one area. So it's easy to shop, your buy one, get one deals. I like how they're doing this. They spread this out everywhere. Your obsession with Christmas ornaments is getting ridiculous. I'm looking for the new one. From, um, Emperor's New Groove. One of our favorite movies. Yes, and I don't see it. Monorail. Major huge announcement. Breaking news. Jen was right, no emerald green ears here. And you know what's kind of crazy? They don't really have a very big selection here. And this is a big gift shop too. This is a big gift shop to have so few ears. It's crazy. I do like the hat though with the old Magic Kingdom oh, ticket. the ticket booklet. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's really cool. That's cool, I haven't seen that before. Oh my God, Jen, this shirt literally made me laugh out loud. Focus. Excited, confused, sleepy, all look exactly the same, but then squirrel. Oh, that just made me laugh out loud. Ooh, I haven't seen this shirt before. I love this. It says home and has the Mickey ears. And this one is $24.99. I don't remember if I've seen this one before either. This one's kind of cool too. Also $24.99. And I think I've showed this before, but I just, I love the retro stuff they're coming out with. I love this. I love everything about this. Just very 80s. $24.99 as well. And all of these qualify for the 22 each when you buy two. They're normally $24.99. So you save like $2.99 per shirt when you buy two of them. This is a really cool mirror. It's kind of shaped like surfboard. I feel like this should be at the poly and not here. Here's another one of the knockoff lounge fly ones that are just Disney themed. Um, it's the mini bows and these are only $39.99. They're not made anywhere near as well as the lounge fly bags. But if you can't afford this $75, $85, $90 dollars for a lounge fly bag, these are a really good op um, option for you. So with everything the way it's going now, there's usually a dedicated entrance and exit almost everywhere you go. You got, so you gotta pay attention to where you're going because sometimes you might be breaking the rules. Exit only here, entrance only right here. Yeah, to another gift shop. I feel like the artwork here at the Fantasia gift shop is also updated. I don't remember this Mickey Mouse. He's adorable and there's a mini on the other side. And she's holding a balloon. Oh, really cool. But now the problem is I exited to take this video and I gotta walk around back to the entrance. This um, Fantasia gift shop though does have a giant collection of pins. So if you ever do some resort hopping, this is one of the better places to actually find pins because they got a lot of them. So I've been seeing these magic bands around, but I haven't been able to get to them. So I love how they have them displayed here. This is the Mother's Day one. It's a limited edition of a thousand. They have the Earth Day 2020, also a thousand. Graduation 2020, also a thousand. I love these. I don't know how much they are. And then they have the Black Widow, which is a limited edition of 1500. I believe these are either 35 or 39, but I'm not positive. They also have this awesome, I love this. This is a DVC one and they're roasting marshmallows. Oh my Lord, I can't take them anywhere. I know, I literally, this is, which one? Two. Good. I gotta say, this has, again, one of the best collections of pins. I mean, look at all the different pin bags. They have a ton of the wishables. Look at all the they have a ton of the different oh. blind boxes. They have like almost all the magical mystery pins. They have most of this pin starter sets. And look at all these other pins. And all, I mean, this is probably second to like the actual pin, pin traders, traders yeah. in Disney Springs. I mean, even look at the selection of lanyards. This is impressive. Oh my gosh, how much fun are these summer antenna toppers? It is a set of two for 
paper ties. And he's going to shoot the girls. No. 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 Check it out. Here's Mickey and Minnie in the swirling saucer. Well, not the yeah, swirling the saucer. The original swirling saucer. Alice teacups. Tea and you got Pluto over here. Just looks like he's just barking at him. And here's the walkway. The view from the walkway. It is just visually stunning. Let's look out over Bay Lake. And on this half, you're kind of you're safe from the wind because they have panels on one side. But it's this second half where it can get quite breezy. Look at this epic monorail shot. Dueling monorails. Uh, I love monorails. And look at the view. There's Space Mountain. And there's Tron coming together. I'll try to zoom in for you guys to take a better look at it. And over there, just see the top of Cinderella's castle. And there's a little closer look. And all this time I thought Jen was right behind me. Now I gotta go find her. The struggle is real sometimes. Wasn't too hard this time. She's taking in, probably taking some pictures of the castle from over here. This is a really great place. And you see they have the, ta the chairs out here. It's like a fireworks viewing area. Even though they aren't currently doing fireworks, you can still get some good photos out here. Jen, look to your right. I scared her. There's a monorail coming through. This is a very different view than you normally get. I've never stood right here before. Yeah, you like it? Just look, you can see Splash Mountain Perfect, the top of Big Thunder, the Castle of National Orbiter just look amazing right now. Then you can even see like the very tip of Prince Eric's Castle, of Storybook Circus. I mean, yeah, the space of Earth. And Tron, like this is, and let me tell you, if you have a good zoom, right, look at there, right there is like the perfect picture of the monorail in the castle. Bam! I might try that. Yeah. And as we head over to Fantasia Market, the monorail madness continues. I feel I've been tricked. I know what she's in here for. Oh uh, no, they better not have them. Look at this. She found them and she almost put them upside down. Oh, I forgot my wallet in the car. That's a shame. I got my car. <laughs> well, that kind of stinks. The freezer must have broke down. But they're smart. They got a couple smaller ones. And there's your ice creams. And then the other little one, you got your little in-room dinners. And now Jen's even happier. She found out she gets to use her annual pass discount on the cookies. These cookie purchases may happen more often now. So I think it's actually cheaper to buy them here than in the store. <laughs> Jen, I love all the phantasmic art. Or yeah. Fantasia art. Well, this is the Fantasia. Yeah, I know, but I love how they have art on both sides of it. Phantasmic, right? Fantasia. Fantasia. The Phantasmic is a show. Correct. Fantasia it's is the movie. movie. Okay, got it. Holy press pennies, Batman. Oh, look. Guys, monorail. Haven't shown you that before. But these aren't the new ones. These are just a bunch of the old ones. These are. They are, but they're not. It's weird. Each one has. Each one has six. Three. No, because that's Three. all one machine. No, it's not. It's two look, separate. Look down. It's not split. It's just one machine. You have to pay separately. I know, so but look. See where they separate? Technically, I'm right. It is one no. machine. Because you can't put your money into this side and get these. So I, it's two separate. Yeah, but look at the Listen, base. Listen, look at me. I'm right. But I give up. Oh, I like this one. So it's kind of cool. They got some unique ones here for the contemporary, like Chef Mickey's. They have a contemporary one. And look, these are pressed quarters specific to the contemporary. Yeah, they all say contemporary. Well, two of the three here say contemporary. These are all contemporary. Kate, uh, Katie, there's a Tink one. Peter Pan, Aladdin, Jasmine, Flounder, Flounder Sebastian, Sebastian, and the Little Mermaid. Mermaid. So it says the game station's hours are 8 to 11, and but it is closed, which is weird. They don't have any signage saying it's closed. Interesting. Jen, I'm cuddling I'm you again. Hair. Oh, sorry. I'm cuddling you again. It's actually really nice it's not out. not as bad today, so I don't mind. Yeah, it's really nice out today. So, <clears throat> do you enjoy your uh, sweet potato pancakes? Why is Osceola the fence parking and oh, he's just turning he's around? Turning, making a U-turn. <laughs> I was like, why is the fence? Jen automatically fence gets guy? nervous about everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, did you enjoy your um, potato, sweet potato pancakes? Oh my gosh, they were so good. Yeah, Jen liked them. I would definitely get them again. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was just all right, but I'm yeah. not a big pan. Again, I don't know a big breakfast person, especially I'm not really a big pancake person. I'll eat them. Yeah. But I won't like it. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> we're we're not really breakfast people. We're both very picky breakfast eaters. Yes, that is for <clears> sure. <throat> but if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching. watching. And, and now, now we're on, on to the next adventure. adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Let's follow the adventure. Good job, babe. Ah, crap. So, we've never eaten before, so I know... Never eaten here before? So we've never eaten before, so I know, but I know... Here before. That's what I said, no, twice. You, no, you said that we've never eaten before. Yeah, listen to it. So we decided to start our... see us, it's so dark. Gotta Fine. do it this way. Think. That's yeah, see, now you can see us. All right, so we Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.